Hey everyone, welcome back. So I had another video planned for today, but then I watched the Jackie Anna video and I had to do that idea. I'll leave her video link down below, but pretty much she did a decluttering of all of her beauty supplies. And as you know from my last video, you know that I am moving at the end of this month, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do that. So I was going through all of my skincare, even my hair care stuff, just like all of my beauty supplies, and I have so much to get rid of. Whether it's like expired products or whether it's just stuff that I'm never gonna use, whether I didn't like it or I'm just not gonna get to, it's time to let that stuff go. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is everything that is either expired, I didn't like, or I'm just not gonna get to. I can donate, oh my God, I'm about to drop this. I can give some of this away, but also some of it's just expired and that kind of stuff you don't wanna give to people, you just kind of wanna toss it at that point. So today we're just gonna go through all this stuff. We're gonna talk about why I didn't like these products, why I'm getting rid of them, why I never picked them up, all of that. So with that all being said, let's get right into this video. So this isn't going to be in any particular order, so let's just dive right in. Honestly, just looking at this box, it kind of makes me sad. I thought I was going to feel good, but I'm feeling a little sad and nervous. All right, first one is from Burst. This is the Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. This is an exfoliating mask. You know, I bought this. I used it like twice. It's fine, it's just something that I never really grabbed. Normally with exfoliating stuff, like exfoliating acids, I go to either a serum or a toner step. So a mask is just one of those things that you don't normally gravitate to because it takes like 20 to 30 minutes out of your day. I think this one you're supposed to sit. Okay, so you're only supposed to let this one sit for like two to three minutes, but that's just more time than I got. So unfortunately this one is expired, so it's gotta go. I have seen many people recommend this, so I'm not necessarily saying that this is a bad product. I just didn't pick it up. Next, we have this Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. This is their moisturizer. This one I just did not like. Um, this one didn't soak into my skin. It really just sat on top of my skin. It's a fine moisturizer, just not for me. Just like a very average, average moisturizer. I never picked it up, so at this point it is also expired, so bye. I think this is the only moisturizer from The Ordinary too, so it's not my favorite. So I really like their serums, but their moisturizers, if this one's it, it's a no for me. Also, sorry if this is like rapid fire, but we got a lot to go through. I had this Thayer's Witch Hazel sitting on my counter for so, so long. This has been sitting up there for probably a year. This is just something that I never used. For a second, I thought I could use it on my body, and even that was just a pain, so I'm just gonna throw this out. Witch Hazel isn't the worst thing in the world. It's just a little drying for me. It's not as hydrating as I would really like it to be, especially knowing like Korean toners and essences. Those are just so much better. This one's just like a very average option, so it's been chilling there for far too long. Goodbye. Next is the Super Goop Glow Stick. This is a sunscreen. It's an SPF 50. It is a sunscreen stick. I made a TikTok about this product. You should go check that out. It has a full review of it. Pretty much, I just didn't like the fact that it was a stick. It was very greasy. It felt gross reapplying throughout the day, especially just constantly like rubbing and re-rubbing on your skin. I just feel like it's gonna hold bacteria. It's just not for me. Extremely greasy. I could touch my skin and it comes right off. I saw some people that really like it, especially for reapplying throughout the day. I'm leaning more towards sprays as a way to reapply your sunscreen, not a stick. A stick kind of just grosses me out. Next is the CeraVe sunscreen. This is the hydrating sunscreen SPF 30. Mineral sunscreen, not tinted. I've heard different things about the tinted, but this one sucks booty cheeks. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna throw this out. I might just put it aside for like my beach or pool days because this just, this is a sucky sunscreen. The white cast is too, too much. It feels gross, it's sticky, it sits in my facial hair, it's just really, really a sucky sunscreen. I will never ever use this unless, like I said, it's for like a beach or a pool day. So I'm just gonna put this aside, not necessarily get rid of it. This is just something I've never recommended. It's probably the worst sunscreen that I've ever tried in my entire life. This feels like the greasy sunscreens that your mom makes you apply when you're at the beach. So I'm gonna keep it as that. Next, I actually have two products from Holy Frog. These are not bad products. These are just something that I don't really use. First, we have their Nourishing Milky Wash. This is a very gentle cleanser. I've used this in the past, especially in the winter time when my skin's just overly sensitive. It's really good if you have very dry skin, which I tend to have. It's just something that I'm not gonna use, especially in the summer time and by the time I get back to this it's gonna be expired so at this point I'm just gonna let it go not a bad product I think it's great especially if you're overly sensitive it's just something I'm not gonna use their other cleanser this is the vitamin C powder wash this one's fine I do like this I think this is a better alternative for like a scrub but at the same time it's just something I'm never gonna gravitate to I like my chemical exfoliants those are the ones I go to whether it's an AHA or BHA I'm not really a physical exfoliant kind of person fine for when I used it it's just gonna expire by the time I get back to it so goodbye 
Hi. Next we have the Hadalabo Hyaluronic something. I ripped the packaging off because the packaging was super ugly and it was like the plastic over the bottle so I just took it off at the time. This is pretty much a giant hyaluronic acid serum but it actually doesn't feel as hydrating as like a hyaluronic acid serum that I've used in the past. This is something that would kind of replace my toner or my essence step especially just because of the consistency of it but again it's not that hydrating for me so I actually did not really enjoy this at all. Again it just felt like a giant hyaluronic acid serum but a more subpar version of that. I'm sorry I think this is a fan favorite it just wasn't for me. Next is actually two hair items. I have my silk bonnet and then a silk like hair wrap. I use these for when I'm sleeping just to protect my curls not only from damage but just to keep the curls a bit longer. I just got in the mail something from Lily Silk. It's one of their silk bonnets so I'm just gonna use that instead. These ones are just old so time to go. Now introducing the smelliest moisturizers of all time. This is the multibiotic moisturizer from the Inky List. This thing is stanky. I wonder if I still have some. Honestly, if I put it on my hand, I'm probably gonna wash my hands after. No, this one's completely out. So I thought I had a little bit more of this, so I'm just gonna toss this because not only is it empty, but it also was kind of just gross. It was a fine moisturizer, just like the one from The Ordinary. It did what it needed to do. It just was not a pleasant experience to use. Next, we have exfoliating pads, all from Nip and Fab. I just do not like pads in general. Not only do I feel like you tug on your skin a little bit, but I don't love the idea of the pad just chilling here in the serum. We have a charcoal and mandelic pad. I don't really love charcoal anyways. I think it's very gimmicky. Mandelic is an AHA though. This one's actually not open, so I'm actually gonna set this aside and give it to somebody if they even wanna use it, even though I would never really recommend this one. And then we we have a glycolic night pad and then a salicylic pad so an AHA and a BHA again I just don't love the idea of pads this is something I never go to like I said I'm either gonna reach for either a serum or an exfoliating toner not a pad even though you know people really like those Dr. Dennis Gross pads those are exfoliating pads so these would be similar I'm just not gonna use these I mean honestly it just feels like a wet tissue just like chilling there in the bag and then you take out that wet tissue and rub it on your face like I just feel like there's gonna be some bacteria in there. Next we have Miss Rihanna. Now, I actually really like this product. This is her sunscreen. I think this is the Hydrovisor. So I really like this one and I would repurchase it. The only thing is I used this probably, I think it's been about a year ago and I've kept this because she made it so you can just replace the insert, which has the product in it, and this is just the like outside container. I love that idea, but for me not repurchasing moisturizers consistently, I'm never gonna use this because I'm just trying out so many. I kept this go because I do really like it, and I have recommended this product in the past. It's very fragrant, so if you don't like that, you're not gonna like this moisturizer. But it's a moisturizer, it has sunscreen, it has like a purpley tint to it, there's really no white cast to it. It's just, you know, I like this idea. I just had it sitting in my room for a year. So I'm just gonna let this go. I feel like I just betrayed Rihanna. Next is a hair serum. This one's by Curlsmith. This is the Full Length Density Elixir. I really like this brand. They have some of my favorite hair products. I really wanted a hair serum because as my curls became tighter, when I really learned how to take care of my curls, I could see more scalp when I really started to treat my curls and kind of style them the way that I wanted to. So I wanted something that would really add to the density of my hair. I just don't think this really did anything. It felt like it was moisturizing my scalp. You know, putting oil on your scalp is gonna moisturize it anyways. I just didn't really see anything coming from like that. That density that they were marketing it as. I really don't even know if hair serums even work. This one seemed like a great option, again, because it's from a brand that I really, really like their other products. I just didn't see any results from this. Next, we have this. This is the Revive Light Therapy. I mean, look at this. If it even works. Hello? Okay. So I think it's out of battery, but it was this red light thing, which I believe red light was supposed to be like, oh, there it is. So red light, you're supposed to like hold it like this and then it's supposed to get rid of your wrinkles. This is so gimmicky, this is stupid. I think my sister-in-law got this in her FabFitFun box and just gave it to me because it was skincare related and she knew she wasn't gonna use it, but this is just dumb. Next we have this cleanser from Neod. If you don't know, Neod is the sister company to The Ordinary. They might be like the mother company or something. They're a bit more expensive though. This one is a cleanser that I got after a recommendation from Gothamista here on YouTube. It was a fine cleanser, but she said this was like a really deep cleanse and I found it to be a little stripping for my dry skin. This is not something that I could use daily, so it was just sitting there on my counter forever and ever. So I'm really just gonna pass on this one. If you have oily skin, this might work for you, but again, it was just overly stripping for me. I also have these two skincare headbands. This one's from Hero Cosmetics. It's so adorable. And then this one's from Beekman 1802. I really like these, they're super cute. It's just something I'm not gonna use because of my curls. It's gonna mess up my curl pattern and I really don't want that. 
but these you just use to get the hair out of your face when doing your skincare routine. So I'm just gonna put these aside. If one of my friends want them, they can have them. Again, really cute, I'm just not gonna use them. Next, we have another product from Nip and Fab. This is their Salicylic Fix Concentrate Extreme 2%. This is an exfoliating serum. As I said before, I really like exfoliating serums. That's really my preferred way of exfoliating, either that or a toner. My only problem with this is it's extremely, extremely fragranced, and it's like this pink color. You know, I am not anti-fragrance. I actually really like fragrance. Sometimes it's more of the experience and like the aspect of self-care that you get from your products. That's what I really gravitate to. But when you have an exfoliating product, that's when I necessarily don't want fragrance because fragrance can be irritating. It can, it's just facts. It's not necessarily going to be for everybody, but you're just increasing the chance of irritation when you already have a salicylic acid product that's going to exfoliate your skin and be somewhat irritating, possibly. You know, the chance of just irritation with an exfoliating acid, it can be higher just because it's a strong ingredient. When you add fragrance in there, it's just gonna increase that chance of irritation. It smells very perfumey, very, very sweet. Again, it's pink. It's just something I'm not gonna use. If I want a really strong exfoliant like this, I would more gravitate to even the peeling solution from The Ordinary, that red blood mask, or even a 2%, I believe the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid. That's a fantastic product. I would choose that over this any day. Next, we have some tanning lotions. These are both from Saint Tropez. We have one bronzing mist, horrible. And then we have another one. This is the Gradual Tan Tinted Body Lotion. So I'm actually gonna give this one to my friend Angela. She is going to get ready for a wedding and she wants to see how this works. So I'm glad to give this away to her. This one just felt very heavy on my skin. It felt way too orange. This just seemed like a subpar version of the Jergens Tanning Lotion, which even that by itself is subpar at best. I've tried Saint Tropez before in the past and I really, really love their tanning mousse. This one just ain't it. So I'm gonna give it to her to try and then she can decide if she wants to keep it or not. As far as the spray goes, girl. I sprayed this one time in the bathroom. It got all over the shower curtain. It got all over the floors. It got on my clothes. It got literally everywhere and it didn't even stick. I looked tan for maybe the day. It went onto my clothes like crazy. I think I wore a white t-shirt, which that's honestly my bad. But at the same time, that t-shirt was trash after. That was disgusting. The entire tan washed off in the next shower. It was ridiculous. From the amount of mess that this thing made and then from the lack of results, this just ain't it. The mousse is in the same exact bottle. I definitely, definitely recommend that, especially if you get it with the mitt. You can just put it right on the mitt, massage it all over your body, and it is a beautiful, beautiful tan. It comes out a really gross like poopy color, but the results are amazing. Next we have a mask from Bliss. This is the Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. This one was fun to use. It just seemed very, very gimmicky. I believe it was a clay mask, but honestly, I don't even know what the heck it was. This was one of those things where I was in Target. I really didn't even know what kind of skincare I needed. I saw this and I was like, ooh, just let me buy that. You know, just because I wanted to spend some money. So I picked this up. Again, fun to use. It was really cute. It's like this white fluffy cloud mask that you put on your face, but it's just overly gimmicky. I believe it's expired at this point, so I'm just going to toss this. Next, we have some very, very cheap gua sha tools. Now, you all know I am a fan of gua sha, but these ones, compared to the Sachi Beauty one that I use, the stainless steel gua sha, these just suck. And I know what you're thinking, a stone is a stone, gua sha is the same as another gua sha, it's just gonna do the same thing. It doesn't. Sachi Beauty gua sha tool, the stainless steel, the best gua sha ever. Makes these look like a piece of poo poo. They're fine, they were a little tiny, I just got them real cheap off of Amazon. I don't know, I'm at the point where if you wanna buy a gua sha tool, go buy a real gua sha tool, like the stainless steel one from Sachi Beauty, not these little dinky ones from Amazon. It's also weird because they come with this little hole so you can like keep them on a keychain. Why? You gonna gua sha on the train? Gua sha in the Uber? Next we have the worst body sunscreen spray in the world. This one is by Bear Republic. This is the mineral sunscreen spray. It's in the scent vanilla cocoa. <laughs> The fact that I picked up a vanilla cocoa spray, well, maybe I thought, you know, I'm a really vanilla-y type of fragrance person. I really like it with my body chemistry, but at the same time, this just was not it. If you know the Kinship sunscreen, the one that smells marshmallowy, this is similar to that, but in a giant body spray bottle. It's not good. And on top of that, this is a mineral sunscreen spray, which I thought was interesting, but it comes out so strong. It doesn't come out in like a mist, like regular sunscreen sprays, like the chemical ones. This came out so strong, it was like, it went in 
it almost stained my walls. It's honestly disgusting. I've tried to put it on my body and mineral sunscreens just don't work with like my facial hair. So I don't know why I thought this was good for my body. I feel weird throwing away a sunscreen though, especially when you're going to the beach and you're going to the pool, even if a sunscreen kind of sucks. Maybe I'll put this aside or maybe I'll give this to somebody in my family for them to use, but this sucks. So it can suck on them. Next is this Kale Charcoal Ultimate Detox Mask from Pacifica. I don't like this brand. Actually, maybe this is Jason's. I'm gonna give it away. I've never used anything from this brand that I liked. Very gimmicky. I don't really like clay masks. I, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this. Next, let's do some hair care. These are both, actually, no, these are not both from Aussie. They're just purple. Okay, we're just gonna do the Aussie one. This is the Mega Hairspray Finish Inflexible Hold. This was my favorite hairspray at the time. This one smells amazing. I just don't use hairspray anymore, and this has been chilling there in my bathroom for so long. It's time to get rid of it. I don't like the way hairspray sits on my curls. It it makes them feel gross, it makes them feel dry. I'm just not really a hairspray kind of person these days, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. All right, back to this purple one. This is the Frizz Ease by John Frieda. This is a secret weapon touch-up cream. I really liked this and the results that it showed. My curls looked good after using this, but they felt disgusting. Now that I've tried oils, now that I've tried other creams or serums, I know what they're supposed to be like. And this one was just overly heavy, overly strong. It just didn't work with my curl type or maybe like my hair type, like my hair is a little more fine. If you have thicker, more textured hair, this might be better for you. It was just a bit too much for me. Again, it looked fantastic. It just felt really gross, weighed down. It felt dirty. If ever I use this, I need to wash my hair the next day. Whether if I use a serum or an oil, I can maybe get away with like another day adding some more product. But this is like a one done. This was just too much for me, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't know why I have this. Maybe I got this in like a Fat Fit Fun box. This is the Amika Dry Shampoo. This has been chilling on my shelf forever, thinking that one day I'm gonna use it. I don't like dry shampoo in my hair. I don't even think this is open, so I can give this to somebody, but the same for me. If you like dry shampoo or if you have curly hair and like dry shampoo, please let me know how you use it. I think dry shampoo just overly dries out my hair. So if you have curly hair and you really like a dry shampoo, leave it in the comments. I'm very interested. Um, these are from my Fat Fit Fun Box. This is Suns Out Pouts Out Lip Mask. Gold Foil Lip Mask. I'm never gonna use these. Actually, let's use one right now. Oh, no, no, no. Ew, this looks so gross. Oh, it's like a Jolly Rancher. It's like a melted Jolly Rancher on a tissue. It's also bad because like my beard and mustache, it doesn't stick. Yeah, I'm gonna give these away. I don't even know what those are supposed to do. I also have these Peace Out Pores. I did open these and try them out, but they're individually packed, so I'm gonna give these to a friend. These are blackhead strips, but unlike Bior strips, they don't yank out those blackheads. These chill on top of your nose. Sometimes you wear them overnight or like four to six hours, and they absorb all of that excess oil. I like the idea of this. It just didn't do anything for me. Like, I woke up the next day and I was so disappointed because I saw absolutely nothing on that nose strip. And after you wear it for like six to eight hours, that's obnoxious. So I'm gonna give this to a friend. They do absolutely no harm. If you're looking for a nose strip and really like that satisfaction, try these. These are by Peace Out. It's a great idea, it just did nothing for me. Next we have two beard products. These are from Everyman Jack. We have a hydrating beard oil and a beard wash. So look, they can't even put the packaging on right. Lately, I've been keeping my beard very short, so there's no reason for me to have a designated beard wash. I can just use my regular cleanser. And for beard oils, I can just use the regular oil that I put on my face. I really love oils, especially at night, so I'm gonna use them anyways, so I might as well just use those instead of this one. I remember these being very fragrant too. These are both in sandalwood. These just weren't great. You can just use your regular face products. Next, we have another hair product. This is a hair mousse. This is not your mother's Curl Talk, Curl Activating Mousse in number two. This is Soft Touchable Hold. I actually got this one after watching the Kathleen Light video. She has beautiful curly hair. And I think her and I have a similar hair type. So when she said she really liked this, I ran to the store and I got it. I have to say it was fine. But for me, I use a mousse in the same step as I would use a gel. And for me, I found better results with a gel versus a mousse. The mousse kind of weighs down my hair a little bit, which is weird because I know it's like a more airy product. Like it's really fluffy. It's supposed to fluff up and give volume to your hair. Maybe I use too much. You know what? No, I'm actually going to keep this. I'm going to try it out tomorrow or the next time I have a wash day. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to go back and watch her videos and I'm gonna see if I can make this work because there's no reason why this wouldn't work for me I can just replace my gel with the mousse so I'm actually gonna keep this I should be at least able to change my mind you know next one just real quick mention this is the everyday humans balm diggity wonder salve papaya mint rose lip balm I just didn't like the flavor of it, it tasted kind of gross and then when I opened up it was like all separated and like spilt everywhere and it just kind of pissed me off so 
Bye. I need to stop being so extra in life. Next and final product, this is by Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. This is a serum that's gonna reduce the appearance of your pores, or at least it was supposed to. I didn't really see much results from this. I kind of let it sit for too long and now it's expired, so I'm just gonna throw it out. It was fine, but I more prefer like niacinamide or salicylic acid. I don't actually know even what is in this. It just wasn't effective. You can get the same results with the niacinamide or with an exfoliating acid like salicylic acid, which I always recommend you have in your routine anyways. I just didn't see any results from this. I'm just gonna let it go. Goodbye. I think that's everything as of right now. As I prepare to move, I'm going through my apartment like crazy. Even some of these products, they just came like last minute. I was going through everything, decluttering my whole room. And you know, with each time I go into my room, I'm like, well, I guess I can get rid of that too. I'm sure this pile is gonna continue to grow, but that felt Kind of good. I don't actually know if I feel really good or if I feel really sad. This is a sign for you to also go and declutter all your beauty products. I saw this dermatologist on TikTok who really recommended like, let's have a spring clean, but with your beauty products. Go into all your beauty products, see if they expired. Every beauty product, especially skincare, I believe, has this little jar. I'll insert a little picture of what it looks like here. It has a little jar with a number followed by an M next to it. So for this one specifically, it says 12M on the little jar. That tells me that after I open this product, it has 12 months of shelf life. So after 12 months, this needs to go. I don't know if these products necessarily will do any harm after that expiration date, but some of those actives, just think about it like they die out. They're dead. It's just not gonna work for you anymore, so it's best to just get rid of it and replace it with a better serum. I need to do this too, but I recommend when you open the product, write the date that you opened it on the bottom of it, so then you know when you need to throw it out. It's a great practice, I really need to get into that. But also with that decluttering and that spring cleaning, you should also go through and see if you're like doubling up on certain actives. Look at your ingredients list. If you have 10 things with salicylic acid, drop nine of them. So make this time and effort for you to be a little more intentional about what you're using. Make sure you're not using expired products. Make sure you're not being wasteful like me and go and declutter that skincare cabinet. It's time. Even though I got rid of these products, I will go ahead and leave them all linked down below if you're interested in any of them. I will also leave all my socials linked down below as well. And I will see you all soon. Until then, I'm gonna go throw all these out and I'm gonna go cry about it because I feel some type of way. I'm connected to my skincare products. Okay, we just, we have a connection. But until then, make sure you're staying safe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.